Okay, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Zahid, and today we're gonna go over what it's like to buy a car on bringatrailer.com. For those of you guys who don't know, I bought my S2000 on Bring a Trailer back in 2017. And prior to that, I had uh, only bought cars through, you know, your regular dealership situation. I'm hoping I can share my experience with some of you out there who are maybe considering bidding on a car yourself. Okay, so let's start with the basics. What is Bring a Trailer? In a nutshell, Bring a Trailer is a car auction site geared towards car enthusiasts of all types. So whether you're into American cars, JDM cars, exotics, Euros, motorcycles, they got a little bit of everything for everyone. And if you're like me, you probably spend more time on Bring a Trailer than you do on social media websites. So what I really love about Bring a Trailer is that not only is it a place to list and buy cars, it's also an excellent place for enthusiasts to have conversations about these cars that they love. And that'll lead to a lot more information than just trying to do research on your own. So let's flash back to 2017 when I was looking for my Honda S2000 and I came across this listing on Bring a Trailer. Oh my God, seeing this car in its form when I first bought it is such a trip. As you can see there, I bought it for $20,250 on November 3rd, 2017. And um, at the time, that was like a scary amount of money to spend on a car. But luckily, these things have appreciated in value like crazy. So it's not even that big of a deal anymore. What I really liked about this, this listing was that it was an 04, so an AP2. It came with an OEM hardtop, which if you're an S2000 guy, you know how crazy that is that I got this car for only $20,250. There are bring a trailer fees, so that added about another $1,000 to it. And also the fees related to getting the car delivered to me, which I'll explain in detail later. But given how much these cars have appreciated since then, this was a crazy deal. So once I realized that everything in the listing looked good and this was the car that I wanted, uh, that's when I decided that I was gonna place a bid. So uh, prior to bidding, you have to create an account on Bring a Trailer. And uh, look at that right there, winning bid by Z Rahman. It's such a trip to think about how scared I was about bidding on this car back then and how awesome uh, life has been with this car since I got it. Uh, there was a total of 20 bids. I didn't start bidding until the last day uh, and it just kept climbing up. I was doing maybe $500 increments. <clears throat> My budget was $20,000 and uh, this ended up going just a little bit over with the fees involved and uh, the delivery. But I ended up winning the bid. It was a great day. I actually won the bid at work. So we were all celebrating, it was really fun. So once I won the bid, that's when things get interesting. Bring a Trailer sets you up with the seller with a direct uh, email so that you and the seller can talk about how you want to facilitate payment and delivery of the car. Bring a Trailer uh, at the time did not facilitate payment or delivery. These days they do facilitate delivery. So that's really nice if anyone out there is considering buying a car on Bring a Trailer. I ended up uh, sending the money over to him. It's car sight unseen. I know it sounds ridiculous. And you know, this is after talking to the previous owner uh, a few times and uh, talking to him on the phone and getting a feel for who he was. And you don't have to do it like that. You know, you can go see the car in person. You can fly there, you can get it inspected and all that stuff. I really trusted the seller. He really knew what he was talking about. He had a very reputable and public career. So it's not like this guy could just disappear off the face of the earth. So I really trusted him in the process and how he took care of the car. But for anyone else out there, make sure to vet the seller, make sure to vet the process, make sure to vet the car. And um, I ended up having the car set up for delivery and shipped to us. I would have gone there and picked it up, but the car was in Utah in November and it was snowing and the car had summer tires. So ultimately I decided it would be better to just have the car shipped to me. And I think I got it like uh, less than a week later and uh, everything went so smooth. So my advice to anyone who is looking at a car on Bring a Trailer is that, you know, if everything checks out and then all the boxes are checked that, you know, what you're looking for, then don't be scared to 
go for it, you know? Have a good conversation with the seller, figure out your finances, figure out how you're gonna get that car prior to bidding. But once that happens, I think Bring a Trailer does a great job of bringing car enthusiasts together. That's going to lead to a good relationship between a buyer and a seller. We're not talking about some shady guy on Craigslist who bought a car to flip it, right? I keep flashing back to back then when I was so worried about it. And you know, there's things to look out for. Don't get me wrong. You know, don't buy these cars blindly, but it wasn't as big of a risk as I actually thought it was. So I'm, you know, four years later, I'm so happy with this car. It's everything I ever wanted in a fun sports car. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll buy another car and bring a trailer someday. But until then, I'll continue scanning the site. I'll continue looking at it more, more than Instagram and uh, learning about cool cars that I didn't even know existed. Okay, that'll do it for today's video. Uh, we have some future S2000 mods coming up. I'm gonna be introducing a new car to the channel. If you stuck around the video for this long, I'll just tell you what it is. It's a 2017 Mark 7 GTI. If you're a Honda guy, I think you could appreciate a front wheel drive car that has a ton of potential. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment if you have questions or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, and uh, lastly, subscribe. Subscribe to the video. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And uh, I know it's a stretch. I know it's a stretch, but I'm just gonna keep putting my best foot forward and uh, hopefully creating content that you guys appreciate. So until next time, take care, peace out.